Hey friends, it's Jesse. Welcome back to the channel and happy 2022. We made it. 2021 was wild. I'm not a fan, but we are here in 2022 and I'm ready to pick up all of my project panning projects as well as today I'm introducing a new project to my lineup. Today I'm introducing the A to Z project pan. Like the project pan, those eyeshadows, this is one that a lot of people customize to themselves. So I feel like a lot of people do this very differently. I'll explain how I'm doing it. So my goal is to hit pan on a shadow for every single letter of the alphabet, all 26 of them. And I'm going to work on five at a time. So of course, with this being in the intro, we are going to share A through E, I think is what I have picked. So I am going to select all the shades myself just because I don't know how to randomize it by name, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna select them myself. My goal is to hit pan on all these shadows. So there isn't gonna be a 20 usage goal on any of these. It's gonna be use it until I hit pan. And hopefully by the end of the year, I've made it through the alphabet. So it's pretty self-explanatory. If you have any questions, definitely leave them below. I would be more than happy to explain anything to you all lovely people. But let's start with the shades that I'm using for this first month. My letter A shade comes from my Natasha Denona Retro, and I actually had a hard time finding a shadow that started with A, but the shade that I found and decided to go with is Andy from my Natasha Denona Retro palette. It's a very nice mauve shade. As you can see, this is one of my most loved palettes in my collection, so I figured that was both an easier shade for me to actually hit pan on and also a palette that I would enjoy. The letter B is in my Naked Cherry palette and the shade that I have is Bing, which is this purpley shade because, oh, I have pink hair now. Shocker. I love pink. Um, but because I'm doing, you know, I have pink hair now, it's so hard to find colors that look good eyeshadow wise with my pink hair. So I've been doing a lot of like pinky purple looks. Hence all the pinky purple tones you were going to see today. But Bing is for my Naked Cherry. I've had this palette for literally ever since the Naked Cherry palette originally came out. And I want to actually show the love. I managed to hit pan in my Naked Heat palette last year, so I know it's possible. Um, I just need that extra motivation to pull this one out and continue to work on it. Shade letter C comes from my Anna Frozen 2 ColourPop palette. Colourpop Frozen 2 on a palette. I don't really know how to say it. Now this one has been in my project last year, my Pan Those Eyeshadows. I worked on this and I've also unofficially been working on panning some of these shades. And one of the shades in here is Charades. So I unofficially worked on Charades last year. So I do have a dip and because it is a deeper shade, you're not using a lot of it. Uh, and it's a Colourpop shadow, which are in my opinion, a little hard to pan. I think I will work on this one as my letter C shade. It definitely looks a lot more used since last time you saw this. Uh, I will include the video of the update this one was in so you can see the difference in progress. I'm very proud of this. I'm excited about this palette though. This is always one of my favorites. It's so neutral and like almost like bland, but it's fun. So I am going to work on trades. Letter number D is from my Disney Midnight Masquerade palette, another palette that you saw in last year's project. Um, and Jolly, or I think you say it Jolly, but it's, uh, it has a D on it. It's this shimmery bronze shade over here. So it's a really pretty one. I do have a lot of usage on that shade already, but considering I am going to be doing two different panning projects this year, I really wanted to give myself shades that I would be motivated um, to hit pan on, whether that be I've used it a lot or they're just really fun shades. So if that is not your vibe, I apologize, but I'm doing two different panning projects this year and don't want to burn myself out. That is jolly. And last but not least for this first rotation of shades, letter E is in my She's Got Solstice palette. This one has been with me a long time. One of my first reviews was with this palette. The shade that I chose is Estrella, which is this middle shimmery like rose gold shade. It's really pretty. I love it. I think it's great. Um, I remember using this one in a lot of neutral looks just for funsies and I feel like this will be a fun one to continue to work on and pull into my project. 
This is the final color story for this first month. Very neutrally pink. I can never do my swatches straight, but I think this is a good lineup of shades. I am excited to try a new project. I loved doing the Project Pan Those Eyeshadows last year, and this seems to be another very popular choice amongst panning community people. So I am very excited. Again, if you have any recommendations or tips or tricks or just want to say hi, let me know in the comments below. And with that, I will see you guys all in the first update next month. Bye, guys.